right, what's going on, boys and girls? I wanted to discuss something, but first off, I gotta plug this site, holdtheline.com. Go there. Also, if you're from looking for retake Emmy or retake Mass Effect, go there too. Great community of gamers, honest, just nicest people you meet. Great set of people. Um, what I want to talk about today, though, is a little different. Um, normally, I'm not a consumer activist much. Here's the thing. I'm not speaking for HTL or Hold the Line or Retake. So any opinion I express is mine alone and the words are mine alone. Nobody else's. So what I wanted to really talk about, though, was the video game review sites and the consumers, customers. You know, And this goes to the touches on a little bit of the publishers and the devs, but not a lot. This is mostly the disconnect between the so-called video game industry media companies and the customer. The problem is the disconnect. There's way too much disconnect. Objective journalism. I laugh when I hear that even in news, news companies. So I find it even more of an oxymoron or idiosyncrasy that Fox owns IGN, which called certain gamers, almost like HTL or retake movement guys, um, self-entitled. Uh, GameSpot called this whiny. Um, you know, it's pretty bad when the only true objective journalism is from Forbes magazine that takes a neither pro nor con approach. They just present the facts and let the people decide. Print media is kicking the digital media or the internet's ass in that regard. That's pretty funny. Now, what's my take on the video game industry media coverage? It's not existent. Here's the problem. It's a, and it starts with the publishers and to a lesser extent. It, the, you know, the pubs and the devs are to a lesser extent. But it mostly boils down to video game review sites function on ads. Ads are put, you know, given to you through the publishers, who the developers are begging for money essentially. But there's more to it than that. But that's the way it works. So those reviewers are paid to play games, type up a little report, give a video review on some places, and they get paid for it difference gamer we don't get paid to do a review we do a review because we like reviews we do our you know we type up a little you know blog post about it or a blog review about it we do it because we want it now yeah is there a side effect that we might get paid you know from like, you know something like google adwords or any of that stuff yeah whatever but it's not the primary motivator then you have other video game <laughs> mediums calling the customers very very spoiled little princesses and Michael Patcher calling them whiners and, you know it's just give me a break you don't understand what it is because you went to college you took your little journalism major you got your masters your bachelor's your PhD or whatever the hell you you know got up to in your journalism or your English major and you said, oh, well, the video game industry is the fastest growing industry right now. So I might as well get into media. And at least there I can go to other outlets. And here's the thing. These review sites that, you know, get those PhD morons are mostly owned by Fox and CBS Interactive. Awesome. So IGN, you're owned by Fox. CBS Interactive owns GameSpot, CNET, GameFAQs, in fact, unfortunately. And at the end of the day, your reviews and your reviewer tilt, as Jeff Gersman had explained before the new score for GameSpot's uh, reviews was done, there was a thing called reviewer tilt. Here's the thing. Your tilt goes towards more to the publisher so that they don't affect your pay and your bottom line. Because why would you rate a AAA title crap if it is? And I'm not speaking of just Bioware or Mass Effect. I'm speaking of in vague general terms. And at the end of the day, 
That's the problem. That is the disconnect. We do this on our own terms, on our own dime, on our own time. We do this because we love it. You do it because it's your job. So until you can get that through your thick skulls, game journalism, and your objective journalism, it's all subjective to you at the end of the day. So go on, keep writing your little reviews, keep getting paid by you know Ubisoft or whatever game publisher of the month is paying you to do a review. You know, go fly to E3, go do this for you know PAX, you know PAX Prime, and get paid too. We do it because it's our hobby, it's our fun enjoyment, it's our entertainment. I don't think you guys can say that. We invest our own money, our own time. This is an investment of finite resources into something. So you can claim to be a journalist all you want. Because your PhDs in English, your PhDs in you know journalism, they don't matter. They really don't. So okay, your journalism, yay. You know where to put a period, awesome. You know how to create hyperbole with a text. Awesome. You know how to get clicks. Awesome. Because at the end of the day, that's all you can rely on. Is marketing ploys and bullshit. Instead of, uh, instead of being honest and open and getting paid for who and what you are and who you are. Because you can claim objectivity and professionalism. But you're no better. <laughs> you're no better than politicians at this point. So, congrats. You got my vote. <laughs> got my vote for being some of the best liars in the industry. Awesome.